<laughs> Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Flash evening. This is Taha. We're here for Pharaohs versus FM. They've already started the game with me today. I got Lotso and Scorpion. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I'm good. I think yeah. you're a bit behind because we just saw well the automatic card. So yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah this yeah. is gonna be this is gonna be a short one. <laughs> just saw a great interactive duel. Oh, yeah. Where, in, in true automat fashion, just uh thrown it burr and uh, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. We don't even know what Socram opened. I am gonna I assume... mean it's here, all right? No no no, it's ritual beast. Come on, it's Socram. It's got to be oh, ETHRBs. Yeah, you know you're right. It's got to be ETHRBs. The sad, the sad thing is we'll probably never know. Unless he shows that veil one time. We'll see in the match report later on, I guess. <laughs> veil? One time? Veil? Nah, I think that fail. Uh, He's playing around Karibo? If this isn't... Oh, no, this won't yeah. be enough. This is enough. Oh, no, this is enough exactly around Karibo. Enough. Yeah, exactly enough. Fail, 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 fail. Come on. All right. No. <laughs> a, bit of, rush, no. A, a bit of a rush start, but we have a uh, one and O coming out from Eros. Man, and Storm has been topping a lot of tourneys with uh, Onomats. He's been playing them a lot, so it's kind of expected that he plays them. That's a good point. APK on point right there. To be honest, he's been playing it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like even when Anima was kind of falling off, you know, it, it's kind of risen in the past week. But even when it was falling off, he was topping with like Crow in his main deck and then some other crap in his main. It's just like he was very creative with the deck, and now he's finally getting a chance to play it in Team Wars, which is nice to see. Mm, a lot of people played it uh, this this week. Like, That's far, I, I yeah. think I saw three or four teams starting it already. Yep, and we have another one here with Pharaohs. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be an automat mirror? No. Oh, oh, it's I a... were... Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Oh, I misunderstood. Yeah, bro, you got to get your eyes checked. Yet. No, the scores already posed ban list, and automats are not running Petra. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, no I have sound, not even sorry. clicked speak date yet. <laughs> thank you. I knew someone... Something felt quiet. I didn't know what, but now I... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't Scorp. He's not known to be quiet. <laughs> no, sir. <Sorry. laughs> no, sir. I am not. Anyway, no problem. Nah, like a... Good Dark Lords player. Stick shown to stick chair. Yeah, he's gonna... Yeah, is really gonna enjoy this game. He's really, he didn't really enjoy playing this game. Well, if he doesn't get a guard or card on the board, I don't think he will mind very much. Come on, even banishment gives him a board here. Like, there's no way he doesn't have a banishment, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, I, I streamed a Pharaoh's game last week, and I uh, streamed uh, and casted with Negative One and Andy. The thing we concluded is that good players don't brick. So I mean, uh. Tokram, definitely a yeah. very good player here. <laughs> Playing really good so far. Um, Discarding the glove that is like, you don't have to want to discard that, but I guess since you're, uh, yeah. <laughs> you open full since you're gonna win anyway, you're not gonna it care. It really does not matter what you discarded there. Unless he doesn't run Taz and Anamats have Lightning Vortex. <laughs> this <laughs> seems familiar. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like it happened to us last week, though. <laughs> no, 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 it did not happen. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is unwinnable. I'm not sure why he chose to go for the bad. I don't either. Yeah. But... I I take back what I just said. Is... It should have been it should have been unwinnable. I think with the uh, Ixchel contact, Nastin copy you, did banishment. You maybe detect a DD crawl. I mean, it doesn't make too oh. much difference. Actually, Scorp, you have a very good point. Uh, if there is a DD Crow in hand, then uh, him doing that play makes a lot more sense. Either way, like any sort of negate on the field that is active makes it really, really tough for Automat to kind of break the board, even with True Nade. 
Uh, because I'm assuming Sokram has a Dark Lord in the hand. Otherwise, he definitely misplayed. Yeah. Unless there's the Crow, but I don't think so, to be honest. We have seen Yanstorm play Crow. Okay, so now we'll see if he has a Dark Lord in hand. In, not in this game, just in events. So it wouldn't be out of the question. Okay, okay. as else. expected, he had a Dark Lord in hand. Okay, he's chilling, man. Yeah. You're gonna contact now, right? He he would have to crow now, but if he crows now, that means he only has two cards. Uh, and one of them has to be a coat in order or uh, yeah, a coat in order to do anything. Um, well he still has the skill. Well he still has the skill, so he just needs two ornament cards. Yep. As you said. Mm. Now he's gonna Oh, head and wind. Sister and coat probably. Yep, there it is. Still not game though. No, it's looking pretty bad. There, it is not. It's not. Main thing is though, contact is in the grave right now. So if Sokram yeah, wants, that's why I said he should have used it early. Yeah, if Sokram wants follow up. He's gonna need to. He he can't afford to negate right now because. Well, I guess he can. Kind of. I actually don't even know what Sokram will do in this situation because he can either save the Sanctified for follow-up, which that means he would contact now. I don't know what he's playing around. Maybe he's feeling some awkward delays. Sokram's first get, like... deck was ETH something. I think it was Ritual Beast, but I'm not sure. The way he's playing it, this telegraphs that there is a DD Crow in the Storm's hand. Otherwise, this is just really. Yeah, there cool. must be at this point, right? Okay. There isn't. Okay. Either that, or he's really just holding it for the game. I mean. <laughs> why would you hold it for the negate? Like Excel used its effect already there. Yes, because he knows he can't OTK, so he would need to grind, even though Onomats and grinding do not go in the same sentence. Well, ETH set 1 pass, not really Mythyard. It was ETH set 4 pass, he just got Trunated. There's a difference. <laughs> 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 I mean, actually, you know, you know what, you know what, lots. We make a lot of sense. If he negates, if he banishes the contact now, then Sokram really does not have a way to rebuild his board because he will have lost yeah. his and Ixchel and Amda. Yeah. So I don't. I just. I don't think he has Crow. So there is no Crow. So there was. I feel like this was an unnecessarily convoluted play by Sokram that really just yeah. did not <laughs> this complex. <laughs> I feel like he could have just copied contact straight up and <laughs> win that matter. Dang. Like, even if he goes M7 here. Okay, he's going Bouncer. That makes more sense. Yeah, they both can swing over. Yep. So he needs banishment in hand. But he, doesn't he have Deidre anyway? So yeah, I, 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 just... I think the only thing I can think of about the way the reason Sokram did what he did and it does make sense right like you know we're talking about maybe him doing it in a convoluted way but what he accomplished by doing it his way is that now he has two monsters on the field that are of a higher defense than any uh, uh like monster that Anima could have gone to in that past turn like had he done the Nastin play he would be able to attack over the Nastin but now Sokram has two monsters that he can't that that Yans no, can't actually get over I mean, you would have just ditched the Nastin, like, with the spell, with the trap or something. Like, I don't think it mattered. He, he just has a, more of a board presence uh, in the short term this way. I mean, he's not going to make a level 6 anyway if you just negate the sister. It's definitely going to go contact here, I think. And yeah, just contact attack and for then game. Desire. And then attack for game. Oh, trap. Then it's okay. not game. 
it was not what I think but Keanu was done. It, <laughs> I think it wasn't was lethal, good. but it was pretty much game, I guess, is the way yeah. to put it. I mean, he missed lethal then. I'm but, pretty sure. I mean, if he wins, he wins. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure if he just went Levian near swing, he also just won. Because someone's Levian does not use effect swing, swing. swing. That also worked, yeah. But, it was harder to lose the game at that point. Yeah. If you don't yeah. completely break the records and get sacked, yeah, exactly. Man. Yeah. You can't win a bad board. If you, if you resolve stick share and contact, Anima can't win like 99% of the time, I think. I, I see that like, you need text. Like, yeah, you need Lightning Vortex and then not to have Tez. But then, like, what Lotso said, like, if you just negate the sister and then something else, he can't even make something that could threaten your nest in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my point. Because only the rank 6s can get over the... Like, I think the biggest rank 4 they played 24? Is there something that has a higher attack? Just I don't think so. Attack, right? mm -hmm. Alright, All right, so... next game. <clears throat> Honestly, Mithyard with that board, he could have chosen to play the turn in like a 700 different ways and it legitimately wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> he could have not done anything that turn, he would have still won, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so it is gonna be the fan favorite. Oh. The unexpected <laughs> match so many years because we have not seen it a single time so far. The yeah. blue boards. Are you not entertained? I am very entertained. This is... Uh, no. I mean, earlier I did a I did a match report like the Sun Clan uh, uh, seven game, <laughs> and the first the first ten games were all blue eyes by Sun Clan. I was like, dude, yay! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> uh, come on, well, something. Else. Looks like Dark Lord didn't so open perfect. ideal, uh, whereas Blue Eyes did open ideal, so uh, this is probably. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dark okay. Can we get a third one? Can we get a third one, please? Let's go. One more, one more. Ah. Uh... No, no, it's only a double card of consonants. I breathe. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even have a turn one spirit or turn two. Yeah, imagine, imagine just having two back Oh, that's one. it. <laughs> I was expecting more. <laughs> oh my god, he actually still had Dragon Spirit in the deck, too, so that's really good for Yan Storm. I draw that guy in my open. Oh, when I play the TCG for Oh, he hit the book. I mean, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Dude, I was playing. I was. I mean, if this is a, if this was a sank and he hit the sank, that would have been like insane, right? But oh, he could have just negated. Yeah, but it's still. I mean, uh, you have to use resources in that situation. Yeah, true. To be fair, I don't see Sokram coming back from this situation unless he ends back or his legit double block. Yeah, those both need to be dead. Oh, the chair into chair. Into the third chair or stick, implying that it will resolve and that the two back row are just uh, they just do not exist. What is yeah, yeah, they're there? both feed this chain and it's gonna be Dalteros, yes, or one feed this chain and one bluff, yes, not so. What else? <laughs> Tell me more about your dreams. I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Man, imagine not- I draw Spirit when I play the TCG and it's a single copy there too. I was playing on old TCG format and I drew that guy almost every game. It was uncanny. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Uh, uh -oh. he's just gonna swing over the stage. <laughs> this is pretty depressing, I'm not gonna lie, like... Right? Right? The, the sheer right. difference in, uh, the ceilings of hands that we just saw is, is kind of crazy. You mean previous game by Sokram and this song? No. The difference of power level in the hand song seen in this duel between um, this Blue duel. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 actually kind of massive. I think it's more depressing oh, yeah. that Just they're both bit. like tier one decks and the last game the top like Sokram like 
just completely blue on his board, and then now it's this shit. Welcome, welcome to the current Duel Links meta. Yeah, that's yeah, what actually, annoys me the most. That's true, like, last duel, Yanstorm couldn't do anything, and now Sokram can't do yeah. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, links, the best decks are so bricky, sorry, Taki, go ahead. Furniture versus big dragons. Oh, that's true. I think big dragons <laughs> beat the furniture. Goes into the vermilion. You guys ever take a moment to appreciate the artwork of vermilion? Like, it's actually super cool. I've never really looked at it properly. It's like a dragon tank. There's like a dragon head on it, and then it's like a super tank. Like if I had like a toy toy like figure of this of this card when I was like four, it'd be like my favorite toy. I'd like protect it at all costs. When you were four. Yeah. What yeah only only when I only when I was four. This was so cool when I was four. <laughs> I'm a cut. I'm about to give lore. <laughs> no, I don't know anything about Duel Links lore. Duel Links doesn't have a lore. Just book. Lore. Panzer Dragon? You know what? I don't know like what the lore is. I doubt it's Panzer Dragon. I, I've heard there's some crazy lore with Panzer Dragon, but I'm actually not sure. Also, I don't even know what only has one deck, so I have to fix that. This is just gonna be lights out. Yeah, and even has the melody, the prismatic melody flexing. Yeah, for real, Xerix. He legitimately only added alternative. He has everything in his hand. <laughs> Kick W. <laughs> I've been really hard considering whether or not I want to make my melody prismatic because it's not only good in like blue eyes, right? Like it's good in any deck that it's going to play Levianir between now and the future until this card eventually gets hit, if it does, right? So it's like, is it worth the thousand gems? Like, damn. No. But it looks so nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, imagine trying to make cards shiny by wasting and wasting your gems. Freaking damn it, God. All right, <clears throat> rest in peace to Sokram. Uh, unfortunately, only one and two, uh, pretty much blown out in both of his losses, but did have a blowout win in his win. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, one and two, nothing forbidden memories can't come back from but also at the same time pharaohs are gonna feel pretty good about this uh, uh about this start getting that counter pick advantage is always nice actually how do you make the malady prismatic can you do it now Wait, i what? think it's uh, it's like for for sometimes limited times Something shows up in the shop and it tells you for a limited time you can upgrade cards to bless your prismatic. I don't know if it's there right now, oh, but shit. I do know that they add it for. Uh... No, I can't do it now. I did it on like the Dark Magician cards before Dark Magician was lame, and it, before they had Circle basically. But those cards were already in the trader, weren't they? No, but it's like I, I made Curtain prismatic, and um. Oh, what else did I make prismatic? I, I have all the Dark Magician spells, Why like, at least one of them prismatic. I, I, I literally got no, it's not there anymore. curtains from you the can't, freaking PC. You can't get it anymore, lots of. Yeah, I just saw. It will come back eventually, but this is... Guys, this is how you know someone has way too much money on their hands. They are like, no, I'm gonna cards to prismatic, even though you can legit get them prismatic from tickets. Xerix, oh, I... No, Scorp, you're totally wrong. I didn't make Dark Magician prismatic. I made his spells prismatic. Yeah, dude, yeah, totally not wrong. Like get out of here. Not expanded. Stop spreading fake you, news, Scorp. You can get curtain prismatic from tickets. Uh, you know what else we no, can do? We can you, watch you can the next game. You can only get one copy. Oh, and then you... And, wow. 
Yeah, and Xerix, I, I meant to say I made all these cards prismatic before Dark Magician got circled, back when they were cool and they used beatdown. No and they only way. Had Wait, yeah, what? So it's not insect loss. Hold so. on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I, I think I think they they're sending FA Dark Lord into Blue Eyes here. Yes, I, that's not surprising. <laughs> that's pretty normal. I don't know. I I a lot of teams have. Are, are not doing that anymore. But he opened kind of decent turn yeah, one. Yeah, he opened the floodgate turn one. Uh, kind of decent. Uh, kind of decent turn one. Just a little. Zen is kind of okay. I mean, it's blue just, eyes it's so annoying. They like switched. How, how do you like. Uh... You guys know, like, any, any streamers in the chat know how to like switch the names easily? Like. Um, dark. Wait, no. Why did I just switch the names? Necro I didn't need fear. to. I didn't, what, what am I doing? Posted a guide on how to do it. He Ooh. he made like some macros to do it. Dark. Oh, no. I, I'm gonna say necro fear, but I don't know how to. Oh. Right. I don't know. <laughs> you know DNF. what I mean. <laughs> just just say DNF. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, don't call him oh, that guy. Okay. Just, yeah, I think we still have that Twitch emote for Hang On Mock. Wait, the Aston one? Yeah. Wait, that's Wait, a Twitch emote? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sham just posted it. <laughs> this music is lit. Can you guys, uh, is is the audio and everything good for, for, for you guys watching in the, watching at home? have to use a consonant, unfortunately, and the stone is gone, banished permanently. Now there's the alternative, which would be able to pop stuff if it wasn't, you know, a super balanced card called Mac. <laughs> very cool, okay. very interactive gameplay. I'm very looking forward to the upcoming KC Cup. Not Dance party at home, that's what's up. The music was so nice, and now we have to listen to this shitty Kaiba music. I'm tired of listening to this music. Like for once I we got we got one. for once we got like some nice Leo theme music, and now we have to listen to this BS ultimate theme or whatever it's called. Whenever you're like about to attack have, for a game, I have always had my sounds in the game that muted for us almost for as long as I can remember, so people keep talking about like these theme themes and stuff and I never know what they're talking about because I don't know any of the theme. Cool story bro. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is his first chance at uh, trying to deal with the mock in the battle phase and as expected there's a lance. There's another set He's though. He's probably gonna need a one or one though. Another book? Bro, how TTH. funny would it be if he has another lance? Right. Banishing the ancient rules. Oh my god, it's gonna resolve. No. Yeah, see this like this is a reason lots of why I was surprised that they wanted to he wanted to send um Yeah, I'm or, not saying I agree with it. Yeah. I'm just saying it's pretty normal. Yeah, well it's because like you know, especially a team oh, like Pharaohs. Oh my god. A team like that Pharaohs was... that like obviously, you know, have a lot of players that are actively playing in tournaments very, very frequently and stuff, and they know exactly like what people are playing in tournaments. So uh Can we just talk about how this man ripped exactly what he needed for people? I mean having book here was actually like really okay, important to getting dealing with the mock. Did you say something, Swarp? <laughs> yeah. Well... That's... I'm not oh. even gonna respond. Yo, Scorp, yo, Scorp. That's game. And, uh... That's it. You just rip the stone. You only had two left in the deck. Rip the stone and go to the game. Alright, so mm -hmm. now... 
now it really comes down to whether or not Pharaoh's, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Forbidden Memories are going to want to repeat here. Uh, I, I don't, guys, did we see Book in Yanstorm's list uh, in the other two duels? Because I don't, I don't think we did. Um, M maybe like this. I don't know, Mom. Yeah. I uh, just don't remember. What did he face? Uh, it was a right? The, the, like the two chairs. It was. Yeah, it was just Dark Lords in the other duel. I don't think he saw a book, so like maybe FM's like, oh, he's not playing book, he's just playing Karma Cut. It's typically book is played in the Tretch list as, as like that's been like the common no, pattern. No, he literally just used the book. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's why we're talking about it. So I was talking about that we see it before, and that's why it made me brought the epic dark words. Uh, <laughs> we just saw the book that. <laughs> Clearly, my brain, my brain is not functioning properly. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm tired. It's okay. I'm always tired. <laughs> why am I always sleep deprived when I'm with you guys on casting and stuff? I'm just. <laughs> Just makes me an easier target. You guys don't really see me as a target. It's sad. Okay, it looks like sad. he's gonna actually switch his deck here, so we aren't no are not are not going to see a repeat. Maybe my guess is that this is the blue eyes mirror. This is gonna be a hard piece. Okay. Alright, so it is indeed the blue eyes mirror and Haha uh, those boys come. FRA is going uh, second with blue eyes. Not good. Blue eyes player going first generally has a pretty big advantage. Just just being able to use ultimate dragons before your opponent is a, is a ridiculous advantage in the blue eyes mirror. You know, I think and it's it's funny you mentioned that because a lot of people are there's no consensus about whether you go first or second in the mirror in terms of advantage because. As the deck moves closer to like five back row cards, like less ancient rules and stuff, some people argue that maybe going uh, second is better because you can deal with their twin burst before you use yours. I don't know. But how? He's playing the first, ancient rules here. If you're both playing heavy back row, then the one going first will have the ability to just set up the karma cuts and stuff and completely block his opponent from even playing. Yeah. If you're playing the more aggressive well, variants, then yeah, it could be better for the one going second because he can start clearing the board first. But anyway, this was a disgusting hand by Yen. Double yeah. concepts into an ancient rules, into double boy side. Absolutely. And a back row. And keep in mind, like, I was kind of like getting to the point of uh, lists that are moving away from ancient rules, uh, which means less likely. Spirit Dragon turn one, but Yanstorm's actually playing Ancient Rules. So I, I guess we've seen Karma Cut, Ancient Rules, and Book in his deck yeah. list so far, and uh, that's three different cards. I'm assuming, if I had to guess, it's probably something like two Book, two Karma, and one Ancient Rules, and he just happened to have the Ancient Rules here in this. Something to similar to that, most likely. Yeah. Yeah, that list, like the. A list with two book, two karma, and one ancient rule uh, is probably really good here for Yen. And also, the fact that he goes, Oh my oh gosh! My what? <laughs> Man. I was just about to say he's oh, probably going to win the out. duel. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is good for the war, so. Okay, he has to use his Book of Moon to add to make sure he doesn't get OTK'd here. Nah, he's just gonna lose now, no? I mean, he discarded Consonant, that's a bit... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he has <laughs> another one! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he has another, another one! What? This guy's just better, man. <laughs> Dude, if he doesn't have alternative after all of that, I'm gonna be so disappointed. He's gonna sit fast. Oh forward. my god, you. You had one chance! Blink Dragon, Spirit of Light. 
He had one chance. Wait, he has two spirit? There's a spirit in his grave, no? Oh, no, 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 it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. I was checking the other one. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> Dang, that's insane. You might still win, though, because of that book. Well, yeah, book of, it depends know. what that set card is. <laughs> yes, of course it does. <laughs> I love how cat commentating brings out the Sherlock Holmes inside of us. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends on the other guy's card. <laughs> TBH, Mythyard, oh, like, he literally... He literally had no way to lose, probably, in that situation. With the board he had, because he had one backer and three monsters, so, like, tagging out is... Is, like, you're already, in, you're already so ahead that you can afford to, like... You know, let them resolve the stone in the grave to because you tagged out early. Yeah, he had enough of an advantage if he could just afford to do that, like you said. And uh, here comes the ultimate dragons, but uh... yeah, I think Yanstorm's gonna be biting it. Ooh, okay. He still might win this. I'm a bit doubtful because of that back row, but. Let's see what Yan has in store for us. Okay, just a twin burst. Isn't it weird that he didn't flip up early? Well, he's doing that now. Imagine if he didn't flip up, like imagine if he, if that was a treacherous and he kept the spirit phase down and then he just got TTH'd. <laughs> that would have been so sad. I think the what? Vortex list does play Tretch. It might, but like, if that was a Tretch, that would have just been... <laughs> I mean, it's over. Sad. If that's Tretch, it's still over. Yeah, if that's Tretch, it might... It... No, well, there is no might. It is over. Actually, I guess, yeah. No, Never mind. it's not. No, you no, need no, the no. Well... Spirit would be able to tag out and dodge, so... Yeah, no, like... Would a twin burst play of his own. Yeah, exactly. I'm assuming he has a blue eyes in hand, though. Mm, probably. I mean, he I, go in fact, I might, I might argue and say that he might actually have two blue eyes in hand, which is why he went for blue eyes and then dragon spirit of white. Maybe. Yeah. But look, the attacks are just going. Through. Because he know. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Maybe it is TTH and he's gonna get like alternative and then chain TTH to the, uh, the, what's he called? Is your eyes? Oh, oh it's a book. Wait, why is he doing it this way? Uh, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. Does, he must have two blue eyes in hand. If he's doing it like this. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he he he's gonna okay. he's gonna no, he's he gonna only OTK. Has one blue he's gonna the second one. That's no, why no. he let it die. No, no, no. He has he has two blue eyes in hand, and now he's gonna add the third one back and go for game. He doesn't have game with the big one. Oh wait, he does over twin. Mhm. Mm I, I guess maybe he went dragon spirit or white there just because he wanted blue eyes as a top deck, but. Like playing the probability game, but if we see a Neo ultimate here, I'm not gonna be surprised. And to be honest, at this point, FM FM really needs this win. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. It's uh -huh. Okay. Very okay. Now, if he misplays and swings over the jerk, then <laughs> 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 I mean, it's easy to miss, like man. Don't count it out. Never scoop. Okay, no, he didn't mess it up. There we go. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> the question marks in chat really like got me. There. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, they've <laughs> finally gotten rid of Yanstorm. What's up, ASAP? That was a... That was a much needed win. Yeah, oh yeah. They really, really needed that win. That lightning vortex. 
<laughs> Insane, man. Yeah, dude, that Lightning Vortex won him the duel. And to be honest with you, he probably shouldn't have even won that duel if there was a tag out, but... Nah, he I mean, should have tagged out early. Come on. But but listen, listen. Yanstorm still did a really good job for his team. 3-2, that's that's yeah, what yeah, they yeah. wanted. That's what they wanted for him. So, although I know Yen, Yen's probably just going to be, you know, hitting himself for that, but... Three and two, you put your team in a good spot, and now you know you move on, and hopefully you, your mentality at that point is just to secure the win. What are you guys expecting here? We've seen a big mix of things being sent into Blue Eyes this week. Uh, FA Dark Lord, uh, Harpies, Onomat. Uh, what else have we yeah. seen from match reports? Let me. Uh, didn't we see Luna Lights again from you guys? Huh? No, we didn't oh, send no, it into Blue Eyes. You sent it into Onomats, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, we saw Buster as well. Yeah, Buster blading. So yeah, uh, like oh, wow. X Factors. Oh no, Banana Rampage. Oh, interesting. Yeah, X Factors uh, started the week by sending Harpies into Exo's Blue Eyes, and that Harpy ultimately went six and one. Then in the second yeah. game of the week, we did see Buster Blader from Banana Rampage, and it did its job. It went one and one, so that was good for Banana Rampage. Unfortunately, though, they didn't, weren't able to get the win. It anymore. almost won two games, and it almost won against Dark Lords. The Dark, yeah. the Dark Lord guy like really messed up, and then the Buster Blader guy got like really unlucky. Never punished. Interesting. <laughs> that was well, one hell of a game. <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> in in the in the match that you Lotso made the match report for. They mm -hmm. they sent uh, SEM sent Seraph Levelog Dark Lords into Blue Eyes, so that was the first occurrence of the mm -hmm. week. Whereas Sun Clan sent Automats, so there's a big bit of a disagreement there on what they think counters Blue Eyes. Mythyard is coming in though, and it looks like it's going to be Automat. So that is the position of Pharaohs that Automat is. Could still be player. level dupe. It's probably Automat, but it's possible. Nah, it's All right. Automatic, I think. Four card combo to game through anything. All right, no, he only needs a two card combo. All right, it's over. All right, this is for sure like. Oh, actually, no, he can. Yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna say he can. He can book the sage and like. But come on, automat skill is so consistent. All he needs is like. Actually. Mithar might not have game anymore. It he needs he needs three automatic cards in hand to, to pull it off. Uh -huh, he has game. <laughs> he has game straight off. No way. Uh, Most likely. There's one. There's two. I would be very so he's gonna search the the fact that he sent the win back um and head, that's like pretty indicative that maybe the third card in hand if it is an automatic card it's something that he that is going to be useful for him uh, to get game here but if all he has is sister and coat he can't oh okay yeah i'm a buster so it's game yep yep He just yeah, needs that. Will we'll we there. see it? All right, there it is. He needed the coat, and he has the coat. So that's all she wrote. Yup. So that was the card that was already in his hand that he didn't want to send back, and that's kind of what I was alluring to, uh, alluding to. Excuse me. Uh, with yeah. with with people playing uh, five techs and twenty one cards, we saw Mythyard playing twenty one cards there, by the way. With people playing five techs and twenty one cards, there is a chance. Not a played twenty. Oh, is it twenty? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's probably playing. I'll be right back. Sorry. Sure. 
He's probably playing four uh, tech cards, but in the 21 Ooh. card list that did well in the MCS, uh, top eight and top, top 16, the chances of opening three of those five going second uh, without Dodo -do -do draw, just in the first five draws, it's not a high chance, but it's enough to like come out uh, every once in a while. And so I was worried for Mythyard's sake that that might've happened there, but he definitely had it there, uh, secured the win. Have been just been super unlucky, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so unlikely. That but actually happened to happen. us today in our war. <laughs> Yikes. Versus Dark Lord, we had game if we just topped an automatic card and we drew a tech card and it's really annoying. That's, that hurts. But then uh, Davida, who was playing, uh, opened pretty well and played very well with Blue Eyes the rest of the way, so mm, it worked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, the chances so of opening three of those five tech cards and 21 cards uh is actually 6.3 percent that's like pretty low but not like abnormally low it'll, it'll come up once in a while yeah yeah <laughs> her bell oh my god uh i'd have to look at the duel again uh buns I don't remember exactly, but I I don't th to answer your question I don't think I don't think so because I remember we opened sister and coat, which is why the skill wasn't used. Yeah, no, no buns buns. The reason we couldn't the what happened was that Ouroboros discarded. Uh, tag before we started turn two, like in turn one, and so turn two, uh, we were only playing with four cards, so that's why, or maybe it was turn one, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 actually, Buns, what happened was that turn one open tag, sister, and coat. I don't remember the fourth card. Sisters summon search bolt bouncer and then the hand is tag bolt and uh, another card that I can't remember right now I think it was true nade and Then they go stick chair obviously you negate the stick, but he still had the chair in hand uh, and then discarded the tag And so now all you all we needed was top uh, a second automat card Because you send bolt and whatever and then just head for game but we drew a tech card instead. But it's all good. I mean, I, I can't really complain because the following duels, it was pretty good hands. But it comes up, uh, th those types of things. For a deck that's so wildly consistent in comparison to a lot of the decks in the meta right now, just because of the skill, uh, it's even more disappointing when you open uh, or like you get kind of like screwed over like that, right? Because then it's like, dang, I thought this deck was supposed to be consistent, but then... I mean, that case is a little bit different, because Ouroboros discarded a card, but... Okay, after waiting, here is the uh... King Zinho coming Zinho up. Zinho and uh, probably gonna be a Dark Lords. Most likely. Yep.
Haga. <laughs> I'm back, sorry. Welcome back. So uh, this looks like a very safe Dark Lord opener, just a nest in play, not going to risk it, not going for anything crazy with a risky Ixchel draw, because he just knows that like the Dark Lord engine itself is, uh, like, it should be good enough to, to beat Onomats on its own. Especially if there's no true name. If there's true name, it can be annoying with wins, because he, he doesn't have, yeah, maybe. You would need a monster to <laughs> that fight, but you would really hurt him actually here. Yeah. Oh wait, actually no, there's a contact in the graveyard. No, no, it wouldn't. I did not notice. It wouldn't hurt him as bad. Yeah, but he only has one negate that way. He would have only one negate, but like, I don't know. It's not impossible, but it's unlikely, I guess, for Onomats to OTK you through one negate. <clears throat> so, um, if you had open draw with the uh, glove before having to use the skill, which is a pretty good starter. Returning the child and another draw. Code. And... This is a really hard board to break. Yeah. It's possible to break it, but it's pretty di pretty difficult. He's gonna. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So, just utilizing like the synergy between Buster and Glove to like get an XYZ summon without even using his normal summon yet. But I wonder what he's gonna try to go for here. Maybe Dial to force the back row? Or, I mean, he knows what it is. It depends. It depends. Oh, Glove summon. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Who let really these guys thinking. cast together? What the? Wait, who said that? <laughs> Drizzles. I love how Lutz was like, wait, who said that? He's just going to destroy him right now. What do you mean, who let these guys cast together? What do you mean? <laughs> That's mean! <laughs> Uh, this new drone was so to play. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> With egg, though. Good times. So, uh. Oh, there's the Spooter. Spooter gonna get negated. Nasty is gonna copy contact. What are we seeing D draw here? Probably a banishment, I think. Well. I mean. Is there a way for Mikiar to actually have a game? I don't think so. Holy Ooh. crap. Okay, there Ooh. is. There is. 
Oh my god, he might actually break this board. If he has a bolt in hand, this is really bad for uh, King Zinho. Oh man. Oh, he, he has still to negate has the sister, Nasty. right? No, I don't think he searched sister. Oh, maybe he negates the Utopic. But if he does have sister, then isn't it just game? Um. Huh. Yeah, it's game. If oh he has my sister. god! Barring a. Te no, not even Tez works. Nah, because he can just bolt the face down. Yeah, 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 not even Tez works. He's just gonna bolt the face down and go M7. That's lethal because five it's more than 5k what do you mean bro? <laughs> that is correct <laughs> wait buns holy <laughs> crap i didn't think i didn't think mythyard could do it but dang he did it not just not because mythyard or anything like obviously mythyard's great but automat needs like a really good hand to break that and he had yeah, yeah. everything that is game. That is more than 5k. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was doing the math in my head while I was like thinking about whether I should continue the sentence. <laughs> Wait, Buns, what do you mean that they was... They have to repeat here, I think. Early. <laughs> yeah, I think Kim Zinho... Uh, uh, I'm actually not sure myself, but I, there was a different option in terms of... Actually, I don't think so. What? Bunce is being rude. Can we time him out, please? My math. I, was, I had to do the math. I was like, wait, 27, 24. Yeah, that's 5k. He wins. <laughs> Dang, Mithya are doing great. 2 0 for his team so far. Pharaoh's up 5 to 2. There's I one thing. What Bunce means, if, he do, if the Nastin doesn't contact immediately, you can play around the book. Like, you can wait with summoning the Amdusk until he has M7. Yeah. Look, here's another thing. Uh, last week, I think Pharaohs can't get too too excited here because last week I also streamed that game. Uh, last week uh, they were up like seven to four, and they lost the war. So uh, Pharaohs definitely uh, know that anything is possible. So they want to keep extending this lead as much as they can until it's up to ten. 10 lives taken. Okay, Mythyard actually going first this time against Dark Lord, so what's really nice is we're gonna be seeing both sides of this matchup here. Uh, one going first and one going second. Uh... Yeah, I see what Buns means now, yeah, yeah. One... Guess, he really wants to have the negate ready, I guess, but he probably wasn't in a hurry. Because he should have been able to read there's a quick play. That would be annoying for him there, I suppose. Because Oh yeah, wait. Or even John Bolt would have been a problem. I must be tripping then, BC. Oh yeah, 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 because there's a Shira that went like four and one. My bad. I I confused it with something else. I'm tripping, my bad. <laughs> I've casted like three of three Pharaoh's games this season. Was it, am I Am I talking about the Smogon Pharaoh's game? I don't know. <laughs> I think I casted that one. Or was that maybe Smogon and Forbidden one Forbidden Memories? I don't know. I can I think I cast it for a lot of games in in your guys like just this division, the first division, just because they end up being uh later in the day, which works for me. Are we gonna see the stick? The Wait, did chair? I say forbidden ones? Oh, <laughs> oh my it's god, just I don't even stick. It's just stick. Yikes. Oh, he has contact. That's really good, though. That's actually really nice here. Uh -huh. Does he have the contact? He has the trap in the graveyard. Mithyard has not used the skill yet, if I'm not mistaken. No, he has not. Yeah, he I mean, if he can get rid of the Bouncer, Ixchel can't negate unless he gets also like an Aston on board. And even then, he can't because he pays 1k min minus 500 with the Bouncer. So he only has one effect, and the trap's in the grave. 
So this isn't good. No, his trap is in the grave. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. He did discard the trap, which is uh, quite a so monk. This switch. might be another loss, to be honest. Mm. I don't see a like book or something. And dusk. Oh, he might be. Oh, he's gonna get the trap, I guess. That's smart. The grave. What did he trap. send, though? What's the cost? Do log. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why is he adding the banishment back? Wait, what? He used that already. Bruh! Mm. Bruh! He has a plan, don't worry, he has a plan. No, he's Bruh. gonna lose! <laughs> you're so, you're so triggered. <laughs> uh, his back I mean, room. that play? His back room must be good, chill! Yeah, watch him get trunated and lose because his back row is good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. I, maybe he but has something. Was nice. was in his, but I, I don't get it. I, yeah, he wants another monster in the grave to summon, but did he forget about the bouncer? Or? No, I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure. Automats can't use head because they lose bouncer, but. They don't need head, like, okay, he would need something else to push through the eggshell defense, but... Yeah, but he still has a skill, though. Yeah, yeah, like... He has ways to get around this board, as long as in his hand, as long as his hand isn't completely awful. On a metal play... Child and Bolt... Very interesting. He chooses to return the bolt, which is very weird, honestly. Like a. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Search for that true nade. Yes, <laughs> search it. But. <laughs> no way. Wait, what's he doing? No way. Okay, guys. That's a is this Fiendish Chain or something? It must be, right? Oh, you're right. Okay, it is. Yeah, Steven okay. Freshy, thank you for the raid. Hopefully you had a good stream. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. This is Dueling's Team Wars. Pharaohs versus Forbidden Memories. Both teams are doing pretty decent so far this season. Uh, although both do need this win. It's 5-2 and two right now. We're in the middle of a Dark Lord versus Automat duel. I mean, you have to negate this unless you have Tez. But... If he can't negate this, he literally dies if he does. Well, if he, he needs Tez, otherwise he just gets bolted and loses. It, he literally dies even if not. Bouncer over a stick would literally be lethal. That's true, yes. See, Taha, you're not the only one who can math, Kappa. I think, I think the issue was that I could not math, not that I could math. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncer's uh, chained, yeah, what the fuck? Why are we listening to oh. Scorv? Scorv, get out of this voice call. And Wula, do you want to join us on this cast? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, but he cannot Yo, change the- Scorp, Scorp's, out here, Scorp's out here anti-coaching. He's like, alright, there's too much coaching in this uh, casting crew. I gotta, I gotta anti-coach him so he messes oh up. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go battle phase because I have lethal over the stick. <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, he, he didn't negate the sister because he was he was like listening to the stream. He's like, hey, they're they're doing a good job coaching right now. I have lethal if I they have lethal if I negate sister. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it was because he could have bolted the chain. Wait, what? Dang. Well, no, he did search that bolt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but, uh... This is... I mean, no. it might... I... Depending on the last two cards in his hand... And he needs wins with a monster, otherwise it's not game. 
Okay, M7 as expected. Give him back the X chip. Oh no! Nothing. Wind in hand. No. No. Okay. Okay. Why would Why would he Why would that matter? No, no, no. Because no, I I thought he was gonna M7 the uh, X shell and then have wind in hand. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought as well. Yeah, but he actually just went for recovery instead, which makes sense. I mean. Alright, so Deidre here, obviously, and I think he's just gonna go for a banishment and just try to loop him out. Yeah. Because Tez still hasn't been used, and that's pretty relevant to match up here. Bouncer's oh. negated, and it's clogging the board. M7 only, you just have to use the negate once to exhaust both. Uh... Uh, why is he thinking about this Deidre, though? Like, just go banishment and win. Yo, imagine he's playing, like, Lava Golem or something. Play lava golem. Vortex. <laughs> hey, 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 Vorte maybe, maybe, maybe Vortex. Maybe Vortex is what he was. Maybe if he's playing Vortex, he might have been considering that. That only works if he had lethal this turn. Though. Yeah. So like Vortex normal summon stick. That's game. Wait, Master. Wait. Okay. Oh yeah, this works. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But now the traps in the grave. Probably. I don't like that. Why not just go contact the trap? No, never mind. He's got a desire. What the hell? What? Is Why huh. is this an attack? Why? Is oh, this never mind. He has oh. levy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? Okay. Why are we? We shouldn't doubt this guy. Come Yo, he's on. in the he's best moment that. of his career right now. Okay, guys. We're idiots. <laughs> We're idiots. I told you we can't be doubting this man. He knows what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no <laughs> way he can lose this game. Stop copying the copy fast! <laughs> <laughs> Why an attack? Maybe he's winning. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I talked too soon. <laughs> Just like how I was like, no, bounds are no, no, he, Lotso talked soon, you just talked completely incorrectly. There's a difference. Both have Mirit. Hey, Mithir's second deck is probably Blue Eyes, considering what we saw yeah. earlier this war from Yanstorm. And that's bad yeah, for yeah. King Zinho, however, he's playing Levianir, which is great in that matchup. And it. Oh, it's Dark Lord! That is not good for Mithyard. That's a weird ass combo. Especially considering that King Zinho is going first here. Let's see that sick chair. Oh, he has it! He has it! Oh my god! This might be where FM catches up here, guys. Let's see if he has more. The bad influence is still there? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> You're totally right, Sarex. You're totally right. <laughs> no way. Okay, okay, oh, he's he, gonna pop he's it. He's gonna pop so it. Godly, he can pop his own card. Yeah, that's a sank. No. All right, so look, guys, there was a tournament. I don't know if it was tournament team wars or whatever other league, but I legitimately <laughs> saw someone summon stick and chair, set one and pass, like not actually go into the. Yeah, against blue eyes, it makes sense. If that's like if your one-off back row is like a book. Yeah, but I thought he was gonna do oh, that man. here, and I was like, "Oh, so Mithyard is playing Lance and Dark Lord here." It might not be Dark Lords then. It could be Harpies. No, they don't play Beach, all right. They're just gonna play Kaiser playing. I don't know. I've seen I've seen Lance and Dark Lord <sighs> just fallen off a little bit recently, but a one of Lance. Lance is really one of good. That's an insane hand. This Again, the Nasten should be in defense, though. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with Nasten in attack here. Like don't, he, 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 can't have he doesn't have, he, yeah, he can't have game. This <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, with this hand, he probably already does have game, Kappa. Well, he's, I guess he's gonna tribute the Nasten now with the trap. This is as good as over. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna set another card. I was gonna be like, oh Watch my god. Drop the cosmic cycle into stick chain. Oh, yeah, no, cosmic, no, Novo does have cosmic a good point. An attack for intimidation. <laughs> All right, it is Dark Lord. 
shocking. To no one, to everyone's shock, it is that. Ooh, he has to go Ixchel here. Unlike King Zinho, who, who actually had everything. Uh, okay, let's has watch these two new cards. Let's watch him rip, stick, and chain. Mithyar. And already have the third chair. Mithyar did that. For the second chair. Ixchel drew in. Okay, that wasn't the new card. That wasn't one of the new ones. This is a new card. These are new cards. Oh no. Tick pass. <laughs> no, he didn't pass yet. <laughs> Ooh, Hideki Bro. Thank it's you tough. so much. Ah, oh, it's still a thing. Uh, Mass casting Hideki. couch. A lot better. Thanks, yeah, Hideki. Yeah, that's definitely still a, still a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a... Wait, why didn't he loop? Came some life, bro. Bro, he's just gonna burr, okay? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> he's gonna. gonna he's just gonna Ouroboros first, then trap, and then make room for the levy. It's over. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> this is a big dude, turn of events insane. that I actually did not expect. Cause I was thinking it was gonna be a blue eyes, right? Like, of course, blue eyes can break and all that, but like. <laughs> I mean, then, Blue Eyes makes a lot more sense to combo with Ana, man. But look, I didn't expect him going first with a hand like this. I mean, this is just an insane hand. Oh, wow, he he did drew for back row. Haha, uh -huh. he literally, I'm pretty sure Blue Eyes would have also lost. Oh, with that hand? Uh, yeah, know. probably. <laughs> you don't know that. He can, like, discard stones. Yeah, I, I mean, at least, he, Blue, at least Blue Eyes would have had a chance, I think. Versus that? Oh, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think the combo, the combo would have made a lot more sense because it was actually on. I mean, on yeah. its dialogue does make sense, but when the combo is reversed, like when. Yeah, when it's reversed, yeah, otherwise, no. So it's not a reversible combo, but I guess they decided that they really wanted to, like, stop the boys on tracks. Uh, either oh, way, I guess that tells us they don't have another on them at that Look, either way. Yeah. Either way, um. Look, either way, Mithyard, <laughs> Mithyard went two and two, so uh, I think like, even though Fair, uh, uh, Forbidden Memories kind of creeped, uh, you know, went plus one there, uh, and they're still maintaining a lead here, which is kind of what they want. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> that just made no sense. <laughs> No, I'm saying, like, you know, it was unfortunate how, like, you know, because of the way the combo, I guess, was there. Obviously, Mithyard got unlucky there, but, or rather, <laughs> rather, King Zinho got very lucky, or, or however you want to look at it. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, Mithyard, at the end of the day, still went 2-2, two and two, and that's, uh, you can't be disappointed in that. They still have the lead here and counterpick, so, I mean, Pharaohs are going to look, look up, Pharaohs are going to look to go up 6-4 and four here, which is... I don't think they can ask for more. All right, dark side coming in, and it's going to be potentially uh, blue eyes, or we'll see. I think blue eyes, though. All right, Seto Kaiba. One thing that's good about this meta is we have a bunch of Kaiba versus Yami Yugi, and it's ironically the Bluetooth Kaiba, and whenever you get DSOD <laughs> in game Bluetooth Kaiba is like I want to duel your hologram and beat you so it's like it's pretty anime to be honest like even though Yugi's playing a uh, Yami Yugi's playing a deck that he would never play Dark Lord's too big brain for him dude Yami Yugi is literally like let me summon a 1700 attack monster and then have a broken trap card to win the duel Kaiba's like <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm gonna play these cards that like you combine them with each other, like XYZ Dragon Cannon and all that stuff. And Yami Yugi's just like, I'm just gonna normal summon Celtic Guardian and pass. <laughs> <laughs> but then harder the cards into like some random shit. <laughs> Puz Puzor's like, don't you remember the episode Yugi D draws for stick? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember that one. <laughs> I mean, 
it could be Stitcher DM. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, a very <laughs> iconic moment. <laughs> yeah, Julia, we, I mean, we can't forget that. <laughs> story. Uh, All right, so in this matchup, like a lot of the times, Spirit Dragon pass is not enough. So him not opening back row nah. here is pretty manga s for dark side. However, if uh, King like, Zinho opens I, anything I, like Mythyar I, did I, in the last, stage trap was book Wednesday. He Wednesday. did not check out. I'm just waiting for the lightning vortex. Imagine, <laughs> <laughs> I'd lose. I'd lose my shit. Imagine you're thinking you're. Really <laughs> Look, do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, no, right. He's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, no, 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 he's gonna eggshell draw for it. Don't worry. Yeah, but oh, he's gonna heart, pass heart, it. heart, op listen, listen, heart opening it is too convenient. You have to eggshell draw for it so that there's more, uh, more there's, suspense. Yeah, there's more suspense and tension to it. All right, there's the eggshell draw. Nastin, okay, so it's not, it's Wait, a, it's he a must already have calm then, because he searched the Nastin. Decent, uh, oh my god, he has stick and chair. If he has book, he wins. Well, no, not this turn, because he ditched the mask. And... Oh my god, he has stick and chair again! Very good! Very good! Just, uh... <laughs> stick chair, and, uh... I must Man, we're getting... <laughs> we're getting flamed in chat! <laughs> what did we do? What did we we're do, being... guys? <laughs> we're being too random, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I say stuff and I'm right. <laughs> Man, this was a very late tag out by Dark Side, honestly. Oh, it's fine. Man. Please have book, have book, have book and win. I'll just swing over. What, what is this biased common commentary? Please have book and win. What is what is going on here? No, explain no, 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 explain no, yourself. Be, what is what is this? Five. Please have book. What the heck? <laughs> I wanted it to be five and five. All right, I'll, I'm I'll so let. I'm so salty how we lost to Pharaoh. I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll let this, I'll let this one slide. All right, pa Papalo operative, I, uh, which makes a lot more sense here in this uh, situation. Bops the banishment. Oh my god! Contact. He does not care, man. He does not care. He has everything. Pass <laughs> <laughs> Comedy show or duel links? Well, uh, I am not on anything except very, very, very little sleep since. <laughs> Count that as something, sure, I guess. Alright. Graveyard is. alternative. And that's pretty much it. And stone, I guess. Yeah, and so. stone, yeah, and stone. I, I was, <laughs> I was mentioning it for the purpose of what he would stone with, but I was, <laughs> I, I feel like I had to clarify that in case no one got confused by my, uh, point there. Okay, so you let the alternative go through here, right? All right. Um. A good point. I mean, we know for sure right now his hand is alternative and blue eyes. We don't know about the other three, but they're probably, other than the card that he drew, they're probably um, not back row cards. <laughs> because if he did have yeah, it, he would have said it. He's gonna have alternative, he's gonna have Helio, so, and he's gonna have a big dragon with the fusion. So you need two negates, and I think my, you let alternative go through. Yeah, my, my guess is that his hand is like something like Dragon Spirit of White, and then some other. Uh, you know, deadish card. Maybe another stone, yeah. though, would not be that bad for him, actually. Yeah, stone would be good. Deadish oh, oh. <laughs> Hideki, I think that comment is a little bit too far. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, um, 
BR actually won a game because of it. He really? beat Buster because of Wall of D. Yeah. Holy crap. I guess, okay, I guess there's the answer to your question. It's yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he ran into Wad. Yeah, it's the other way around. Wait, was it the Wait. I don't know which one was the. Uh, what kind of plants are those casters? On? Some good um, ones. I wish. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> stole my line. <laughs> Oh, yeah, tuner. So there is the tuner. That does make sense, right? Because, like, we knew he had monsters in his hand. Yeah, this means he doesn't lose the levy next turn. I see he's just gonna try to. S I don't know if he can actually force lethal. He is going for. I don't think he can. Ooh. Wait, what? He might not be playing to Azure. Oh, you could have gone into Spirit. Oh, yeah, okay. But you can't tag out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> but you can intimidate them with the Spirit. Just so they don't be draw no, levy. There's, there's no delay, though. <laughs> with it. I, I, well, yeah. you can set a back row so they think so. Uh, I mean, if he has a back row, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing uh, I have oh, a second just... I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, you can just search Taz here if you want. Where's Egg? Uh, we ask ourselves the same question all the time. Yeah. Do you have contact in the grid? No, or just the punishment. Not banishment, but he has the trap set, so you can search Taz here if you want, to be honest. Yeah, his graveyard, sorry guys, I didn't show it yet. It's just one banishment uh, as far as Dark Lord uh, spell traps go. Okay, does he have a dark lord in the hand? Oh, he does. Okay. Trap. Okay. Sending Am Dusk. Okay, now he's definitely not dying this turn. But, I mean, hmm. Alright, he's going for. Oh! Potential yeah. board clear here. That's it, man. But I think this is pretty much over. Uh, since we know King Zinho runs uh, Levian here. Yeah. He can search contact now and then Levy and then now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of expecting like a <clears throat> ultimate dragon. Oh, wait. He test here. Hmm. That makes sense, actually. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. He probably has a Levianir and then stick normal summon in hand. And he's just gonna Levianir and then stick normal summon in hand. Well, he can just get Contact, Desire, and Levy as well. Mm -hmm, he needs yeah. to... Uh, I mean, he just wins, I think. Oh yeah, he might also just have Levy in hand already. Which is also possible. So We're he... Sure that was a very that... quick D draw there, so... There's the Levy. Pay attention to where it was. That's the card he just D drew. Uh, oh, yeah. oh wow, he has a Prismatic Sage. That's very nice. Gonna probably <laughs> add that back to his hand. Yep. Dark side has lands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I I mean, probably just loses here. So. Banishment here is also game or Yep, there yep. it is. As I was thinking, that. And he has the last chair in hand because he couldn't search. There or it is. Holy crap, it's actually tied up now. That's kind of crazy. Luckily for Pharaohs though, they have two repeats, so they can repeat here. Dang, this was five and two at one point. And now it's five and five. <laughs> That's true. <tough. laughs> Dang. Dang, is Darkseid changing his deck here? Or did he, did he just leave the table until they decide? I'll check the channel. <coughs> I think the rule is that if you're gonna repeat, you can't leave the table. I'm not sure actually. No, no judge? 
Judge. They're repeating. Oh, okay. okay, they're repeating. It's, they're repeating. I'm gonna rule shark, but I'm not even on either team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, guys, in the chat. Didn't mean to offend anyone. Just kidding. Yeah, the room will sometimes kick, but he took forever to come back, so... Usually if that happens, you it's not a kick, it's just... He literally left the table. He probably went to switch his deck, and his team probably is like, no, 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 repeat, repeat, and then he came back. Probably what happened. Sounds innocent enough. Something. We're just waiting for them to start the duel and we'll get in it. Yeah. I'm sorry that you're offended, Ace. We're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Things in house. Three and one right now. On a Dark Lord that's repeated. And there it is. Next duel is starting. Five and five. This is a very, very important duel. Arrows really need to get bit of this Dark Lord deck here. Yeah, please. please. Can Zinio or can? Wait. How do you how do you pronounce oh, it? I'm so sorry. I think it's King Zinio. <laughs> Reported. <laughs> <laughs> King Burger King? What the? What is wrong with this man? What is our time looking like? Can we move past the 6 hours? There's no way we will. King Zinjo? What are you talking about? Like all the footballs like Ronaldinho aren't Ronaldinho or Robinho. <laughs> or I'm gonna call him King. <laughs> All right, there's the brick finally, I guess, in the sense of probability. Not finally because I'm rooting for a certain team. I would never do that. I'm an unbiased commentator. Oh, okay, dribbles. Never mind. I'm not like uh, <laughs> ignore me. <laughs> you said I said it correctly. <laughs> How did you say it exactly? I'm what the king's team, yeah. Hey, what guys? What what tech cards have we seen from King so far? I feel like all I've seen is just stick and chair and banishment and. He he always drew too many dark. This is pretty ideal, I guess. Double back row. You mean if you don't draw triple? Bro, imagine he just goes stick and chair here. Like he just got the missing piece. Gonna two me. Send <laughs> <laughs> my get out of here. But <laughs> having an unbiased caster, as per usual, shaking. My I have to balance out co Lotso's comment from before. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Do something. That's true, Hideki. I am. Most biased, biased guest. Okay. He nice. took that long to draw with H. Oh, he ditched the contact. That's why he took forever. <clears throat> Sick. He's in chair. Where's the chair? Where's the chair? He has it? Okay. There's Mr. Stick, and with him, Mr. Chair. Wait. <laughs> yes. He's saying, hold on. Oh, Exodio. Everything in attack. Is he, is he saying that Lotso and Scorp are quiet? Huh? I don't know what he's saying, man. Wait, are there any uh, Portuguese, like, someone in, in, in the chat that can speak Portuguese and English? Because from the limited <laughs> Spanish that I know, and I guess somewhat Portuguese, that seem, it seems like he's saying that Lots of Scorp are quiet. Oh, okay. I completely misunderstood. Uh, right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's kind of true, though. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> Shut up, Buns. Shut up, Buns. 
Go play some onomats and be happy about it or something. <laughs> oh my god. It's too much laughing, man. They're right. You guys are just laughing. I'll just say like... I'll just say the word Appa and Lotso is just gonna be like... <laughs> no, I'm not. What? <laughs> You mean? Oh, even we'll try to be serious about laughing. So, oh, man. Scorp was always the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so guys, he's already used up his normal summon this turn, so you can't go for desire. Obviously, he's gonna search Nastin. And Sherlock Taha Holmes with the uh, with the hot thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I did not realize that. Did he ditch Stone with Karma? Oh, he's gonna lose his trap. Oh, no, no, he discarded another card. If discarding Stone gives too much advantage, wouldn't yeah. want that. If Egg was casting this game, he'd be too focused on making sure that someone was actually casting the game. That's kind of a depressing statement. So. Dang, Xerix, holy crap. Alright, here's another Kamika, and there is the stone. That's not yeah. good for King... That's it, right? Yeah, that's game. Wait, did he target the... Yes, he did target the Ixshell, which is pretty much... Game, Unless End Phase, is... Dragon Spirit. Unless his hand card is the Dragon Spirit of White, dude. Yeah, and then loses the Wall of D or something. How depressing would that be? Slash how fun. Alright. Yeah, it would be pretty funny, Tom. Like... <laughs> Wait, that back row has been there since the beginning, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. it is I, don't, I feel like it might be Sank. Because he searched Nastin. Oh, it's a book! Oh, okay, he loses his son. With his own chair. Yes, Why that's actually... Up? No, I'm actually smart. Yeah, that's the right play. And there's the second stone. And I'm here's the blue stuff. eyes. So it's actually not game yet. We need a tuner for it to be game. A and lot he's of already... things are game, though. Yeah, oh, alternative is game. Tuners are... Right, did he top that? I think he topped that. He did, but Taha Helio with any two monsters in hand was also here. Just FYI. That's also yeah. true, yeah, he's at 3k, you're absolutely right about that. <laughs> Dang, Taha. though. Yeah, Taha continuing to demonstrate his excellent math skills. <laughs> is that a new it? form of Prisma? Oh yeah, Hideki, this is a... What is it called? Officially? I don't know. Wait, it's hold like... up, Hideki. How long have you not played the game for? Wait, Hideki, you gotta log in to get this card, so that at least you have it. You get it for free. Yeah, yeah Legend legend too. Rarity? It's basically Prisma- Oh, see, this is the other one. It's basically Prismatic, but with the uh, glowing effect. It's like Ghost Rare, if you- you know, like TCG cards. It's like Ghost Rare, but yeah, with Prismatic. There's no way. The campaign for Alternative is over? I thought it was like- No, it's not. Permanent. No way. No way. It's not for like a year or something. Yeah, no way. You still get it when you log in. I think you should still get it. My no, I literally one of my friends literally just started playing last week and he got it. So that's uh, not true. Yeah, yeah. If it ended, it it must have ended literally like two days ago. Usually these anniversaries are like time. Dude, what that means is that what if they just put it in the card trader in the next anniversary? How insane would that be? I Alternative, but at that point, you guys like alternative. In the semi limit. Don't compare Ghost Rays to that Garbo. That's true, actually. The prismatics are kind of overrated, not gonna lie. It only looks nice on like some cards. It. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Even in, even in the filters, it counts as a prismatic. A TN Prisma? Is that. What? I don't, I'm hearing like different things from other pe from different people, so I don't know anymore. Anyway, what I do know is that Pharaohs are up six to five. They finally regained this lead after a moment of concern for them. So again, this is for the third time this war. 
a team has to send something into Blue Eyes. And earlier in this war, we saw FM send FA Dark Lords into Blue Eyes, and it didn't work. They went for the mirror, and they won that mirror. So... Yes, King was playing Amdusk. We saw Amdusk. Why are you guys so quiet? I was reading something else. Okay, <laughs> I, I I thought my Discord no legit. I thought my yeah. Discord crashed because no. it happened. It happened last week, and I was just like, oh oh, Lotso, this is this is the icon I was talking about. Where is the icon? The like top tier icon, guys. The one Hormigon has. Yeah. I've been using the like the black cat like forever. You're lame. Wait, this is, do you get this icon with Duke event? It's yeah. Like yeah, you had to complete the entire Duke event. Uh, I'm not doing that, no way. Dude, I, I grinded my behind for that. Yeah, apparently people were enjoying the silence, so uh, you ruined it for them. Dude, I need to like update. Man, I'm doing such a bad job. <laughs> so focused on the stream. <laughs> I need to update a lot of this stuff. I'm, I apologize, guys. Both re repeats have been used for both teams. One one each. Um, and dark side is one and one. What was dark side's first deck? Uh, blue eyes, and then he repeated. He repeated. Okay. And now it's a little hormigon. Yeah. This with onomist. Dude, oh, no, Sham, no, no. it is fire, bro. It's fire, and like people are so lazy to get it. That it's not even easily accessible, so it makes it even better in that sense. So how did you get it? Did you like? You don't. Uh, you can't get it anymore. No, no. I meant like you got like getting like the points for the Duke event, just like finishing. No, the you had to complete all the sheets. Oh, come on, yeah. like why bother, man? Because it's a nice icon. Come on. <laughs> icon. Yeah. I did I did forty times three because I wanted to or thirty times three I think because I wanted to f actually like finish the event too. I, th I think it was thirty times three because I was just using like a red eyes uh, fusion auto duel deck except playing manually. Uh, and there's some there's some horse shit with a level forty duke so I was like let me just go down to thirty just so I can actually win games without getting like. Without him just snipe hundering everything. PSD to old blue eyes. The bunny uh, icon. How do you get that? Okay. The this is very interesting. We saw FA Dark Lord earlier in the war uh, being sent in instead of automat, but they're going to opt and send an automat now. I think perhaps their their line of thought was that the. FA Dark Lord had a higher streak potential. Maybe this is what they're thinking that it had a higher streak potential, or could maybe 2 0 that combo. But this is a really, really good turn one going Roach and Coat. Now Blue Eyes can't summon Alternative or Synchro. He's gonna Why would he it. use the Coat though? He's. I think he just wants to. I don't know. I, I don't know either, actually. The code's just like a free kill now. You lose it. For well, free. you you get OTK'd by a four card combo. So maybe he's playing around that. Yeah, okay, for both to be. You like, need, what? you Requires. need, you need a tuner, sage, ancient rules, and blue eyes to OTK. Uh, actually, that's that. Even then, that's not OTK. OTK Roach, sir. Huh? Blue eyes do not have. Blue eyes do not have a way to OTK Roach without. Okay. Yeah, I guess not. That's a bad book, I guess. But also, he, he wanted Bolt to be alive. Buns, you're right. I was just thinking that. Oh yeah, that, book, but... book is a really good point. If 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 they're playing book... back though, Buns. Yeah, yeah Yenstorm, exactly. Yenstorm was playing two books. So if they're playing book, they just book the Roach. And then it's just like... But are you... That's like... Are you gonna play, really play around with your hand? Yeah, I think Roach so... Pass was just... Roach Pass was probably just sufficient. He did search that coat. He searched that coat and child. I feel like Roach Pass is enough. Yeah. Ooh, that's game. Oh. <laughs> that is game. What were those back row? What? 
Dude, the the wrath or something? Or dead consonances. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna. Actually, I... I'll edit the score after because then people are gonna see and it's gonna be like, oh, now FM is up. All right, now I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Darkseid has been eliminated. He unfortunately for him went six. Oh, sorry, one and two, and now it's six and six. <laughs> Let's see what automatic counter we're gonna get from Pharos, cause I mean, we know what they're gonna get. Wait, why are they? Why are they going in again? Am I tripping? Yeah, it's a bug, I think. He left the table on my screen. Yeah, I think it's a bug. It's just Absolutely. taking me back to the old duel. Taha is... <laughs> I was like, did I get something wrong here? Taha is good. Taha's going back get me out of here. Watching the duel after it Alright. So we saw Dark Lord from FM to counter Pharaohs' Automat, but now maybe Pharaohs have a different answer into Automat. Mm, yeah, maybe. I'm expecting it to be Dark Lord, so... Yeah, I, I would imagine so. By the way guys, please make sure to join the... Uh, Duel Links Team Wars Discord server. Uh, follow our Twitter. <clears throat> we tweet... Uh, about all match results and uh, give you tweets about upcoming matches, player of the week, player of the month, all that amazing stuff. And then any sort of news we, for example, a ban list comes out, we will tweet out and say that it's legal and whatnot. Make sure to follow our Twitter. Uh, also, exclamation mark YouTube, make sure to follow our YouTube channel as well. VODs and stuff will be uploaded there. Um, but other than that, Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this war. We are in the next game now. And as you said, Lotso, it is Yami Yugi. Oh, Dark You're Lord. not showing the game. Oh, okay. Now you are. This has been basically Blue Eyes fighting Dark Lords. Then Onomats goes to fight Blue Eyes. And then Dark Lords goes to fight Onomats. And then Blue Eyes comes in to fight Dark Lord. Yay. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay. Chino's... Chino? Wait for That's the uh, X show. The yellow X show, I'm looking for the picture. This card's Tez. Oof. Not what you want to ditch against all cards, but if he did have this... If he did get this picture, it's all gonna be worth it. He did get this picture. Very good. Very good player. Only good players draw what they need, obviously. As we have established already. True Nate Lightning Vortex. <laughs> Man, someone really wants Hormagon to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Uh, I'm guessing Chinos is gonna look to pop his own card. To be Ouroboros. Draw. It's a prismatic Ouroboros, which would be impressive if it wasn't a selection box, box card and you can grade it for her as you wish. That looks so nice. This is one of the few prismatics that actually look really, really nice. Guarding the Utopic. No contact. Oh, he doesn't have contact. Why did he pop the- oh, he's, he already used banishment, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's not, like, a really good discard. No. Yeah, he loses the true nade. This card true nade and two automatic cards, and he loses. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like there's a true nade, but... Yeah, he, I think he would've slapped it on immediately. Mm -hmm.
This is uh, very exciting. Okay, no sure. <laughs> This is gonna be the Gaga -ga -ga sister. Hmm, we did have the trap face down. Offering the hero and monster? No. Now that sister is a clog on Hormigon's board, so I'm not sure if he really has. I don't think he has he really. Um, you know, when you think about it, the prismatic art is like so simple. It's just like a circulating thing that's just repeated like 20 times, like it's Windows 95, like a background in Windows 95. It's not even creative. <laughs> yeah, I remember Shem. Wait, what's number 45 puns? Is the it the two. level, the rank 2? What did he add? The return child, so he probably does not play that. Buns, why didn't you just say rank 2 XYZ? No one, no one knows it as number 45. It's trying to be cool. And Buns such a tryhard. <laughs> Ooh, Thank there's the Gaga you. win though. What does that I even think it's a bit too late. Oh no! Hey, Wait, this, this works. This oh yeah, it does work. Up. It's a level 4, holy crap. <laughs> 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 Dang. I don't think I've ever in my life used wind on sister, but... Hmm. So we actually did have game of that Book of Moon was not a real card. That's <laughs> what do you mean it was not a real card? <laughs> That's not I even mean. This corpse, right? I guess if that was a bluff. Like if that was like like if that card did not exist. Oh yeah, yeah. If if if, if you're just playing twenty nineteen cards instead, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, he's top decking now. Oh, oh he is levy. Never mind. Well, well, the other guy can top deck head, I guess. He banished yeah, just two chairs and <laughs> desire. Oh my god! Alright, that's over. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> that's Come absolutely on. over. <laughs> so their counter works. Like, dude, this oh, one's. Yeah. Cards didn't, have... <laughs> didn't even need D draw. That's kind of insane. These were the two exact cards he needed. Yeah, yeah. that's so true. Well, no, contact worked too. He didn't need banishment. He already had like two banishment in the grave, so contact worked as well. Management's always better. But I, I honestly... Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if he actually needed the Levy in here to win. I don't Wait, why did he search the Mastin? Oh, he, he has a trap in the creation. Never mind. Is he having any gate is overrated, but... <laughs> now he's going to uh, D-draw into... I don't know. Just summons Dodo. Book or something. I, it's just like he just wins here, probably, right? Yeah, like Bun said, he had all three banishments, Big Chair, and Book of Moon, and the Trap. So, Hormigon's first deck eliminated, and now Pharaohs go up 7-6. to six. This has been a close, super close war since the start. Like, the only, the biggest deficit was three games, 5-2, and two, and it was immediately tied after. Like, and honestly, it was like just a small streak from one team followed by a small... It's not a small streak, but like it was a streak. A streak, the smallest then, like, of streaks, because three wins is a is like I think the team war's definition of a streak. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and then like the, and then like King Zenio then followed it with a streak as well. I think three wins as well. And then like basically since then it's been like neck and neck. And then uh, this it's is uh, on the gone second deck. So this is basically... So now we're in three deck form. Wait, we've seen three decks, yeah. Autumn has blue eyes and dark words. Great. Diversity. Amazing. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> this isn't boring at all. Yeah, we've we've only seen three decks so far this war. I guess four if you count FA Dark Lord as its own archetype. No, no, no. 
the deck is too degenerate to even be counted. It should be deleted from the match report. Just to, just oh, just... Hormigon's opening, nice. Hormigon took... Well, if he has he, back, He read a few pages from Yanstorm's book. Mm -hmm. Double consonants, double back. Rochinos is gonna have a lot of fun playing through this. We've already seen Lance in one of Pharaoh's uh, Dark Lord decks, so... It wasn't Chino's He might have MST and Lance or something, and Sick Chair. It was a different list, right? It was not Chino's. No, it was Mythyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Show us that cheat and add in a tune in. to my phone. I'm like, what do you I mean... Oh, there. okay. It's it's gonna be difficult, but maybe if he does res like he won't obviously won't be able to resolve <laughs> charge into Lemmy. <laughs> That's true. Charge charge into Levy is probably the only thing that beats this blue eyes word. So Levy would absolutely murder this board. Oh, or no. Trunade Automat. <laughs> yeah, that, you're correct. Absolutely correct, actually. Trunade Automat. I forgot about that. And then there's the Book of Money. Lance? No way. Okay, okay. Nah, okay, he loses. Okay. Well, there what? is no spirit on the field right now. So if he has like two back yeah, rows, he could are, survive. He, he didn't doesn't kill the sage, so we'll have a next turn. Well, I think he yeah. would have lost if he put a chair in attack. It depends. Lose it, anyway. Like if he has back row potentially, to lethal, then no. But if he doesn't have back row, then I feel like as we'll try to at least put one chair in attack to kill the sage. I guess. I'm not sure. What? Oh my God. No. <laughs> Thought, so you we speak way too soon. soon again. You yeah. speak way too soon. <laughs> and he has banishment! Well, he had two, because he ditched one with Vortex. <sighs> Tenma, I think you were thinking a bit too far out in the imaginary imagination there, but... Uh, could have just said Lightning Vortex and it would have been believable. Oh, Actually, even oh. that probably wouldn't be that believable. But it happened. Does he have a discard trap? Man, look how devastating Lightning Vortex is, even when we have decks that can play around a Blue Eyes and Dark. When these decks get hit, how are people gonna play around this card? It's gonna be gross. Starlight Road in every deck, one time. The OG anti Dark Hole. I mean, that was a great Lightning Vortex, but Chinos is not out of this yet. Oh my god, still has a lot of follow-up. Oh, let's time. just casually yeah. use our third cards of consonants. <laughs> We're <laughs> chilling, guys. Literally resolve three cards of consonants this duel. Holy crap. Six cards left in his deck. Turn three. So I think Ooh. something he can do is summon Sage, use third... Summon second Sage, use third Sage. Dragon Spirit of White if he doesn't have it already. You can also Ancient Rules Dragon Spirit of Light. Uh, a billion lines of play. I... He doesn't have to do that, but that would help him a lot if he <laughs> has that play available because uh, that's probably a book set. I... Actually, we, we don't know anything about Chinos' list, right? It could be TTH. What? Oh, you mean you mean the uh, you mean the Dark Lord? Yeah, yeah, Dark Center, Lord. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> that could technically also be TTH if they're busy doc. <laughs> no way, did that actually happen? Yes, in the MCS. <laughs> was he not playing in Excel? Not playing contact. No, he wasn't playing contact. <laughs> he was playing the level uh draw engine, Dark Lord draw engine to get uh, the car out. And he had the, TTH. He was basically using the, the banishment as a part of Green. Yeah, he played, he played Double Desire, Excel, and uh, yeah, Triple Banishment as Dark Lord cards. And Sanctified, I think. I think. Oh, but I mean, we got top 32, so it worked. <laughs> That's really creative. 
imagine being the first poor fool. All of that, least. just literally all of that, just to like play a tretch over contact. Like it, it almost feels like maybe he got top 32 because he's a good Dark Lord player, not maybe because of a good list. That, uh, but like he, he ditched the other weaker Dark Lord monsters and he instead kept all the ones with the really high level too, right? It's also, like, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point, actually. I'm near Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see why he's using the same effect. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was about to ask, but then I know what this did the end phase. Plus 800 life points. Donks. Yeah, that was really smart from Cheetos. Make, making sure that Sank doesn't get banished here. I mean, he Cheetos probably, can't yeah. Again. He probably understands that this is going to be a grindy duel, so making sure that it's in the grave and not banished is potentially crucial here. Oh, Karma, that's not good. You want a book. Actually, Karma Did is better reality? here because he has boardroom now. Yeah, for a Dark Lord player, I'm talking in the perspective of the Blue Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I guess we don't we don't know what each other... We're any... both so biased. <laughs> biased? No, we're just out of sync, okay? That's what, it, that's what we're going to call it, okay? We do know one of Chino's Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god. He does have a contact in his hand, so we know one of his end cards is a contact. There it Okay, there checking it. for delays, first sets it and then he activates. Now he cheats and level loops the test to four. Wait, why did he summon the small one? There was no other one. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, he had to send the Tez with the uh, Sanctified. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I honestly feel, almost feel like Ormagon would have been better off like fusing and trying to clear the, uh, some of the board so he could save his karma. Maybe. Adds the Ambusk, it's a back row. Probably just adding this Ambusk to try to recover, because his contact is currently stuck in the graveyard, and Ambusk is the best, like, or like the least resource intensive way of getting it back. But he's still mm. on the back foot, this duel. Yeah. That is gonna get another blue eyes. We haven't seen alternative for home again. I mean, he ditched Malavy, so I'm assuming he has it. Oh, he ditched Malavy. Okay. Yeah, with the karma. Yeah, with the karma. Okay, so you must have it already. There it is. Alternative, try to pop Tez. Tez is gonna... Uh, negate, unless he explained double Tez, probably just gonna negate the alternative, but... Chino still needs this backer to be really good, otherwise Tormagon can probably push for game here. Wait, battle phase? Interesting. Why is he playing this so slow? I don't know. Is Hormagon giving way too much effect to that back row? Yeah, like, why not just go, like, Helio, force it, clear the board or something? I don't know. Hormagon is playing this way too slow for someone who is technically on the clock. I mean, he has four turns left to win the pool. And he's in a great position, like... Really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The fact will be that he's so scared to someone like a Heavy or something into it. I guess he he's might be scared low. of Levy and he doesn't yeah. want to feel the grave or something? He might be low on time. That's also always an option. Or a reason, I mean. Mm, I mean... He hasn't been taking that long, Ooh. has he? Ooh! Chair. Formiga's last back row must be something, though. There's no way. I, I think you wait until he exceeds. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Because Can there's no chair. Because there's no stick, I mean. 
mm -hmm. your scepter. You can still build the rose pop the alternative before you're spawned. I'm not sure if Ormogon cares about that. Ooh, okay. okay, now this is game. Unless that... I mean, you can just force out the back row now, right? Still, I think he could have won last turn, but... Ormogon taking his sweet time <laughs> to win this duel. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Is he just gonna swing like this? No. He's probably gonna ultimate dragons here. Just to make sure he that has... Was just to it's not game really. though. It's not game though. Is it not? No, 5800. Yes, I can read. <laughs> but can you math? Why is he... What is he doing? Dang, now he's about to get levied. Yeah. Well, Levy by itself I mean, isn't going to do gonna, anything. Yeah, it's not going to do much, but still, why are you doing this? Concentrating current face down, even though it literally would not work, because you already... <laughs> yeah, sir. <laughs> anything is possible. Man, I don't understand this play at all. I mean, I don't think the Dark Lord can top anything, but still. Why are you just like giving him extra turns? Yeah, sure, like, the levy isn't gonna do anything, but this last card in hand Zamdusk, so. But so still though, like he could have won two turns ago in like my opinion. Oh my god. Okay now stone oh no, he already used two stone. I already used all three. of them. The cards in the graveyard mm -hmm. are He resolved three continents in this duel, remember? Mm-hmm, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wind burst. This is his only monster. Isn't this the last monster he could possibly summon? Yeah. yeah I think what? so. Yeah. Chinos. The, here's the thing, right? Chinos. Uh, he might lose now. Ch well, Chinos has contact in the grave. But he has. Uh, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't lose actually. There's no way he loses. Chinos has Ambusk in hand. Yeah, but he, he can't use any effect. He can't use any Dark Lord effect. So yeah. Wait, he actually, does, he actually has Amdus in hand? I wasn't paying attention to the search. Yeah, he added it like ages ago. Oh, okay. So he just it's needs another Dark Lord card, like Ixchel. Or yeah, Desire. And then, what? And then what? What? he adds contact and he summons, and then he just has another turn. No, he just, what? you desire the you desire the monster. How are you gonna desire? Oh, 300, 300, 300. My, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Listen. I'm sorry, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't see the life points. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize that if you just top decked like chair or stick to just set them two turns in a row or like cards to yeah. stack. Yeah, yeah. That was literally I mean, the monster that we Armagon won, but he played that really weird. Armagon won, but we all lost. Yeah, we all lost. Well, it's tied up again. I don't mean to be it's been a this has been a really close war though. The Chinos is second deck. Now this is where I think things are gonna be extremely interesting because if Chinos' second deck is uh, blue eyes, it's gonna be a mirror match now. And if it is like on a map, then that's good for Pharaohs. And it looks like it's on a mat. Woohoo! Surprise! So once again, 
only three archetypes seen in this war so far. Blue Eyes, Automat, and Dark Lord. Although it's two versions of Dark Lords that we saw, but only one least... FA Dark Lord. And did it, it only got like one win, right, I think? It didn't win any games. The oh, FA right. Dark Lord lost one and then Blue Eyes won the mirror. Right, it lost and it didn't repeat, right? right. It just it lost to Book plus another back row. Okay, no Roach play, unless he has Child in hand. How do you know no Roach play? Uh, I said unless he has Child in hand. It's because he summoned Sister. Mm, yeah, that's how they Roach. Sister and Child. I said unless he has Child in hand. Yeah, no he child can in hand. With any card he adds, he can switch it out for a, for a yeah, child. Yeah, but he doesn't that. want to do that. He wants to go Bouncer here. Mm -hmm. His hand must be really, like... Maybe, hmm. maybe he, he really wants to save his skill to see what he draws. Maybe yeah. he doesn't play Roach. Interesting. We'll find out soon enough. The Dark Lord player timed out? Really? I think he surrendered. No, I think he timed out. Oh, okay. Well, it was gonna be a lose anyway. The Blue Eyes player had only two cards left in the deck, didn't he? Yes. So, he was gonna draw and swing over the Ambus. So, he literally just needed to draw any monster that he could set. I don't know how many of those he has left. Oh my god, is that it? That's That has to be game. Surely that's game. Four cards? There's no way this isn't game. He has yeah, both is... in hand. Uh, M7 Monster Bolt is game. Mm. He needs two removals with Bolt. No, dude, he just needs Gaga Gaga Head. What are you talking about? Gaga Gaga Head is not enough. Oh, you're saying tag out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's no, true. Why? Because it looks cool. Yeah, tag of out. It's yeah, What's yeah, tag like? out is not game. Uh, yeah, the tag out. If he has tag out, it's not game. He's going for the Gaga. Ga -ga. Oh, okay. He has uh, Buster. Tag, tag OTK. He's going for the tag OTK. He had a child before. This is the tag OTK. This does not care about tag outs. Yeah, you're right. What did he send back? I think he sent back Bolt and... Okay, win. Bolt and win. Yeah, uh, Bolt and win. Dang, this is crazy. That's I crazy. Mean, he, I think he had w ways to OTK even without uh, like the tag combo. I'm pretty sure he could have... Dang, Bonds, I thought you said it wasn't game. Bonds lied. Bums is a big fat liar. But yeah, he had, I'm pretty sure he had like multiple lines of lethal in this situation. Depending on his extra deck, obviously. His lines of lethal would be. Well, if he went for like a bold M7 play, it wasn't lethal because of the tag. Oh, no, yeah, if he does this, then it's lethal. The way to lethal through this was like. Who's lethal. winning? Uh, you can look at the score. It's actually tied right now. Neither team is winning. <laughs> What? I'm just answering his question. No, 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 I know. Like, you're right. Like, the question is just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not leave the child on the field instead wait, of Wait, wait, yeah, you're right. Wait, <laughs> wait he, kept the, he kept the sister on the field instead of the child. It, it doesn't matter, it's game either way. Yeah, but still. Yeah, I know. No. Bro, don't worry. Turn. Don't worry, dude. Lotso literally laughs at anything. I could be he could be watching he could be watching paint dry and I'll just laugh. Wow. See you tried really hard not to laugh there. I know you wanted to laugh there, Lotso. <laughs> yeah, I heard I heard a little bit. You're like uh, 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 you're trying to trying so hard not to laugh there. It's like ninety five percent of the reason. 
<laughs> now he got it all out. Now you hear it all out. He's he's laughing double now. He's making up for the one that he didn't laugh for. <laughs> His laugh is infectious, I'm not gonna lie. That's true. I'll give him- I'll give you that. Alright, that's game. He tags out for no... tag out. Yeah, to make the other guy press no one do you want to continue to attack. Mm -hmm. Just, uh... Yeah. Barrow's taking the lead back up again. Damn. FM hasn't gotten the lead once this war, it's... Or did they? No, they haven't. They go to the vision standings, actually. Like, what are they at? I think FM is 4 and 2, and Pharaohs is... 3 and 3. Okay, yeah. Well, our Pharaohs RD is better than FM, actually. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see sent into Automats now. This is such a pickle. I'm gonna go on a limb. <laughs> Guys, what do you guys think? I mean, Zeta plays a lot of thunders, right? Hmm. I don't know, something other than those decks. <laughs> we went for a two I mean, the 30 card thunders with like hand traps is good, the other one is bad. <laughs> I'm losing what? it. What? Why? Um, we went from a two deck format to three deck format. Yay, so much fun. Oh man. If anything else or anything, like today in another war, we saw like most ridiculous diversity. We saw a freaking Shira versus Harpies in another war. Yeah, we saw Invoke Neos with Stratos. That's From Clawclan, I think. And they actually won. Well, that deck didn't, obviously, but they won the war. <laughs> 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 Batteries in the back. <laughs> All right, I'm back, and we are in last player from FM Zeta. Okay, it's our cards. <laughs> Dang, so I'm expecting We're their like, last. Oh, like you're making like hypothetical things that like it wouldn't be dark cards, but it's suck. Their last uh, deck is probably on a mat. Probably playing Dark Lord Automat. Nah, probably. Yeah, it could be Fire Kings, but it's not Fire Kings. So this this war on paper is probably gonna end 10, 10 9 if Pharaohs has has it's the right combo. Yeah. <laughs> but a, there's a there's a big if on uh just how things work, because we know Dark Lord is a bricky deck and all that stuff. If Kubio is Blue Eyes Dark Lord, then I could see FM winning it just because if Zeta's second deck is Onomad, he might be able to. Actually, no. Pharaohs, see, the thing is, Pharaohs still have a repeat left, which makes this really difficult for uh, FM to come back here. However, Zeta has been a part of some last man standing comebacks in the past, so definitely capable of it in terms of pressure. Yeah, I... I I literally said that, Buns, but then I was like... <laughs> I, I, I literally said that. You said, what do you mean? And then you repeat literally what I said. This is uh, exciting stuff. <laughs> F no, I said That's FM it. could still win, but it would require... Maybe I did say F I, I meant to say... F Phoenix would win 10, 10, or Pharaohs. Oh, yeah. swag, that's uncalled for, man. <laughs> that's what I say. He's- oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god. I'm Does he have chair. it? Oh my god, oh. he has it! He topped it, no? So good, so good! <laughs> he did top it. 
Oh, Holy no. crap. I mean, that's offerings in the back, right? A book, that's even better for him. If he has a back row, he's fine. Chino's used the skill, he did not, so his hand is, you know, he searched the card. He still has the skill. I what did he search? Oh? Oh, I don't think Chino's has a realistic oh, yeah. way of decaying this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh... Probably not. Thinking. Like, do I reveal the true name or do I not? <laughs> <laughs> He's too tempted to activate the true name in his hand. Turns the boat and dwarf for sister and head. So okay, sanctified wins in here now. I don't. I don't think. Uh, like I don't think Chinos is looking to like try to kill him this turn or anything. He's just setting up. Like yeah, he, he searched the head for follow up, and I guess he's just gonna. Put the back row, right? Probably. That was just a bench. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't game, is it? No. No, it's no, not. It's, it's not. Yeah, even if you bolted the monster, it was not game. M7 gets back the sister again, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, like, doesn't really. There's no reason to give Zeta back really any of his, like, stick chair pieces. What did Zeta search with Banishment last turn? Thanks, Chat, I think. So, sitting that Banishment might have actually sealed his fate. Unless he just. Shows Bro, you're, ta third. you're talking about you're talking about it like he's going to the shadow realm or something. Yep. Sealed his fate. Dang. Yep. It's got four cards in hand though. It's not over yet. Not looking good. Setting that bluff banishment maybe wasn't the best idea. Mm -hmm. Probably was not. Oh, designer. Okay, that's not good. This is it. He loses. <laughs> oh, he has contact. He's fine. Okay. <laughs> that is crucial. Yeah, no, he's totally fine, actually. 
Zeta probably wins this from this point on now. Well, just because he has contact, I think you swing over to Bonzer, right? Not the M-Star one. Actually... Wait. No, you don't, because otherwise you can't negate the head. So, he should let this go through. I mean, should he really? He's gonna lose his Bowser either way. Yeah, but if he keeps the M7, he can just M7 the XGEL. Uh, XGEL is forced to negate, and then use head and win the game. Not really, XGEL already has a contact graveyard. Well, now he does. He, it, he already, before. it already did, he could have like summoned another monster on the draw phase. No, there wasn't anything in his grave. No, there was a contact in the grave. Yeah, but no monster, man. Wait, th that... Uh, oh. There was no? Really? Okay. Well, now there is, because he ambushed the Nastin for the trap. I think he should have negated that banishment, maybe. I'm not sure, honestly. You know, stop decks, sets... I mean, honestly, you can let the sister go through at this point, because his other card is head. There's no rank sixes anymore. <laughs> Both rank sixes are gone. Yeah. Yeah, Buns, there were multiple lines of play there, anyway. Wait a minute. Did he search the trap? Is that... Oh, he searched Yeah, the it's a trap. Yeah, Wait, it... I'm not using it. What? Okay. I'm guessing he did not want to lose either the... But... But... I guess he just levies for game now. But, but he could have like used the trap. And sent... still got Deidre. No, he could have used the trap, sent the actual to the grave, negated Bouncer. And yeah. got I mean, I, I think honestly he had like a billion different ways to play this, and it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Here comes Mr. Levy. He, he made it look with that desire summon that he was gonna lose, though, and then was like, oh wait, I also have come. <laughs> I had this <laughs> My hand's actually really good, sorry guys. I just took a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that 8 to 8 now? Yep, yeah. it's all tied up now. This is a really good war now. Yeah. Okay, bring out the Scorp blue eyes. Scorp would back to differ, he'd say, Oh, it's just three same decks. Oh, good meta. <laughs> I mean, these teams obviously like completely agree on the meta. Yeah, it's like ping pong. Ping! Onomats. Pong! Dark Lords. Ping! Blue Eyes. Pong! Onomats. And so on and so forth. Well, keep yeah, someone going, needs to sir. clip that. Keep going until 19 games. Yeah, like. yeah. Someone needs to pick that. <laughs> we lost it. Yes. That ping pong part. That was funny. <laughs> oh, actually, I was laughing at him, not That's with gonna him. Be the opening. That's gonna be the opening of next year's trailer. Or next season. <laughs> It's anybody's game though. I know there's like the entire ping pong part of it, but it really is anybody's game. <laughs> oh yeah, because both blue eyes and dark lords can just like tragically break. Like if Dark Lord sets stone pass, uh, I mean blue eyes. They're really thinking oh. hard here. It may maybe they don't have a blue eyes left. Nah, just, Imagine this is the mirror. Just, like yeah. Pharaohs lose just because they don't have a blue eyes left. That would really like sting. Come on, they have a blue eyes left. 
There it is. Yep, you're right. However, Dark Lord's <laughs> going first, which is what Dark Lord wants to see here. Now, if they go stick in chair, that's also something Dark Lord wants to see here. And that would be an insane turn of events. Okay, he's going for Ixchel draw. Ixchel, but he, without banishment, which is key oh, here. There's the banishment now. Okay, so he doesn't have no stick chair. chair, I guess. Yeah. That's Just bad. bad. Blue eyes versus Dark Lord. I mean,. It's not yeah, great. Dark Lord engine just loses the blue eyes. It's not great, but he didn't completely right. <laughs> break. Like, come on! Like, like what I'm trying to say is like, blue eyes still has to open like somewhat decent. Or like... they need to open a back row, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Zeta does have D-Draw already proc now, and he does have one more back row that we don't know about. Unfortunately for Zeta, though, he doesn't have, like, a stick or a chair uh, to, like, summon, which could Wait. get Levy in might... here. Ooh, Sage. Yeah. I think... Yeah, he should. I... I think you can negate this, actually. Yeah, I think you negate this. I would, at least. Yep, there it is. Sacking Ooh. the Tez, which is... Econ tick to dodge. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> oh, you already had it. Oh, of course. Get, get baited. <laughs> wow. One back. Two back. Back. Oh no! Alright, Zeta, let's see the true nade. <laughs> Zeta has shown... No, he has shown both semi-limits already, unfortunately. Zing Zen Zoo. Or what's the other one called? Straight Flush? The one that just kills three? Yeah. That would be sick, actually. <laughs> Come on. Well, whatever that back row is, we're about to find out. He's really thinking if he wants to send him spirit. Uh, oh my god, someone already freaking, someone already freaking, freaking clipped the ping pong thingy. Ooh, give me that link. Where is it? <laughs> it was damn. Of course it was damn. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Wait, where is it posted? Oh, clip. Yeah, is the room lagging or is he like so annoyed that it's Bro, spirits in his DCs? Okay, like... okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think which artwork to summon. Okay, he really wants the back row. Oh, he's hanging out. Oof. Ooh. So he did open the blue eyes. I mean, now those are in Karmas, so he knows that. So, two book and a trash or something? Oh. And that was just a book. <clears throat> okay, what do you D draw into here? Probably banishment. Mm. Vortex? No I'm kidding. <laughs> New joke, but Vortex would not be the worst thing here, would it? Actually, it would not be amazing. Yeah, he went for Banishment. I mean... Like... For... Banishment just stalling, though. Mm. I mean, he, he probably does not have a better play, honestly. To be honest, point. if Zeta has to... If Zeta has to clutch this out with Onomat, I think it's very possible that he wins two in a row with Onomat. 
Because then if pharaohs don't have a repeat, Trunade, yeah. huh? If you go second with Trunade, then yes. No, I'm saying just in general, just because Onomat has consistency to it, whereas like pharaohs don't have repeats to use anymore, because Kubio is most likely winning this duel. Mm, I don't know, man. Like, I guess yeah, because he's gonna have Tretch, right? And he's gonna have Treacherous face down. He's just gonna win. Well, I, I, that's not why. I just, I'm assuming two of those back rows are are alive, <clears throat> at least two. So, that's the case. It's just kind of really bad for. Has he searched with banishment yet? Am I stuck? And maybe he's thinking of like chaining TTH now, just in case he has a second test. Okay, there's a desire. Okay. I guess he's just gonna ignore the three back row and be like, I'm going for lethal. I mean, he can't really play around them realistically. Can yeah, that's that's true. Like, with, with the test gone, unless he was playing a second TTH, like, a second test, sorry for the TT. How did you guys, like, how are you guys so confident that he was playing Crutch? Because he used the spirit tag out. He didn't keep anything in his hand, kind of telegraphed that he was not playing Ah, uh, okay, card. good point. I guess I didn't look into it that much, but that's true. I think it was either that or he had like two books and a karma face down. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. no, I, I thought it was a cons I thought it was a consonance. And oh, like... wait. <laughs> so even this is triple dark, isn't it? Yeah, it's triple dark. He's just gonna swing it, swoody. Book is game. And then he loses the book, yeah. Yeah. Now you go Verm and that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. Well, the ping pong continues. Dang, this has been an, the most like back and forth war in a long time that I can remember. That that I've casted and actually watched. Man, there's a lot of one-sided games this season. Yeah. Okay, ultimate dragons to play around Kariga? No. Okay. All right, I, this is match point for Pharaohs, if I'm yep. not mistaken. It is match point. Mm, it's nine, nine eight. eight, and if I am correct, I think uh, Zeta's this second is deck is on a mat. Yeah, I would, I would think so. I know Zeta's also like uh, just likes on a mat. He's I used it in events out. and stuff like that. And then Cubs second deck, start learning. On a mat can, two o here. Yeah, dark going brick. Like, stick pass, well, first get OTK'd, uh, Ouroboros pass, get OTK'd, like, you have to open Dark Lord engine. <laughs> oh, that's heart loose the battery, so we're good either way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this could potentially be the last duel of the oh, war, 9-8. Or, oh, this could be Harpies. Oh or my not, god. this is probably Thunders, this is probably Thunders, right? Thunders? Something different! Parts, though. No, it's, it's not, harpies. Wait, it's something... It FA Dark Lords? Harpies, FA Dark Lords. Harpies, nice! Oh, any open channel! Alright, guys! No more ping pong! No more ping pong, let's go! Let's go! No more oh, ping pong! It's insane! Dude, Harpies could Finally. actually... Harpies could clutch this war as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly, That's they good. could. Alright, he's going for rest here, so he probably needs to... Probably need some back row. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, did it freeze? I mean, turn one, you kind of always go into rest, I think, if you have channel. He's, why is he deciding on attack position? Okay. Alright, there's the rest. There's a Matic, Harpy, Lady Okay, now I really hope Harpies win this, just because Asfam had the balls to bring a different deck. Oh my god, he has Egotist too! What's that gonna do here? Does he Ooh, have? Does he have triple back row? Because if he has oh, a swallow, back row swallows oh, nest. Oh no! Yeah. yeah, I was just gonna say if he has swallows nest, that's really like good here. But only one back mm -hmm. row. No, Zeta, no, not like this. Uh, one back row could be enough here. Like you're not gonna die to blue eyes with one back row. 
just swallow like the fact that you used egotist is like you guys are saying like telegraphs the swallows and this yeah fast. in my opinion it does or a tth yeah. and he wants uh yeah another target yeah. in case of alternative yeah it's one of those two I... most likely yeah all right nicks but hey at least the ping pong is over we have Yo, moved who knows it. maybe maybe kubuyo's second deck is harpies too <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just Dark Lord still. <laughs> Man, we would have said the same about Zeta five minutes ago, okay? Hey, Buster. <laughs> I really hope Harpy win this game. Mr. H Mr. Buskill. I mean, oh. if Blue Eyes has a lot of background, okay, is... show it as follows an ass. This is Monka. Or the TTH. Okay, there it is. Yeah. So we, 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 good, saw it, we saw it coming a lot, so that was a swallow. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. Two, two back row is basically like... That was Scorp that set that swag. Uh, I can't believe wait, wait, I, I, I didn't see <laughs> it. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not over. Yeah, like... like I, for harpies to win this, we like he would he would need to not have like a consonants follow up into like double back row and whatnot. He's gonna get a search here though, yeah. which is nice. I was I was I was excited. And he's probably about... searching for the last searchable card in the deck. Uh, searchable spell. Oh wait! Oh, only one back row? No two. But back no row. two back two back row, but one set. Yeah, but TTH is just like. Hey, I win. Yeah, TTH is probably game. Well, yeah. <laughs> Lance, Lance. I mean, he wouldn't he have set Lance though? No, he wouldn't have actually. He would have kept it in the hand. Yeah, yeah, maybe he has Lance. Yeah. Where is his Harpy's hunting ground? Yeah. Chicken with? All right. But he's playing twenty cards. There's no way he's playing Harpy's hunting ground. You don't know. Yeah. Okay, man. He's playing two perfumer. Yes. Okay, please have Lance on hand. Okay, tight up binds. Yes, he oh, is man. It's, it's, it's not lethal if he gets rid of the lady. Oh man, he's gonna need double Lance here, isn't he? A swallow's nest actually works too. What if it's double swallow? What if it's double TTH? Oh, Wait, he plays Karma and TTH? Oh, he probably plays one TTH. Okay, gonna, show the Lance. He's gonna bounce himself here if he doesn't have Lance. Oh, man. He's oh, he didn't lose. bounce himself. Why, though? Well, he already used the effect. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, you're Wait, right. You're he right. Still I'm, tripping. Nuts, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Swallows? Swallows? But Swallows Nest. With Harpist is game actually. Oh, not if that back was alive. Oh, oh, it doesn't have to be Harpist actually. No, if that back row is live, Harpist is game. What are you talking about? How? Never mind. Sorry. Huh? Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm like, I'm like reading the. T I thought, I thought the Harpy Lady One had attacked and not the Perfumer, so I'm tripping. Sorry, I'm like reading reading the chat it, too. The red the chat is exciting me. I had I was trying to like pay attention to both. Oh man, he's gonna lose to the back row, isn't he? He's going for harpist. Oh, oh harpist no. this game, despite the back row, but oh, No, man. no, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I thought I thought he attacked with Harpy Lady One already, so I was like, oh okay, it's just like if he oh, books the man, perfumer, then you just go swallow his nest into another two. The pick. alternatives, he swings. Oh man. Not like this. Yeah, it's game. No, actually, oh, it's not. Okay, yeah, it's, it's game. game. It's game. It's game. It's game. It's game. It's game. He, I was gonna say like he need. Oh yeah, he did reveal it actually. Never mind. All right, well there's the war. All right, I, my concentration level is zero percent right now, as you can clearly see. They got punished for bringing a deck that wasn't one of those three decks. It was <laughs> How dare you pre break the ping pong? <laughs> well, congratulations to Pharaohs. Uh, they really needed this win. Um, 
they're now four and three, and I think FM is also now four and three. So both teams still in the playoffs race, although FM really, I'm sure, wanted this win to get that five and two, but still uh, both teams in the playoff contention. Let's see if we have some interviews. I'd like to get maybe someone from interview, maybe Mythyard. Let's maybe get Mythyard. Well, anyone that says yes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, we're even getting called out in the match channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Friendship he's, with BC over. He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it, Todd. They never do. Looks like probably no interview, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, it was a great war, though. So thanks. Wait, for was there a prediction game. for this war? Did someone set up a prediction mm -hmm. for this war? Aren't you the one that's supposed to do that? Uh, no. Radlov or Hazy or Xerix usually do that. I think if Xerix was watching, he probably would have set it up. Oh, you didn't see one? Well, maybe there was one like, at the very beginning. Like, only one. Maybe, maybe... There. Dang. Go. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna end it. I think I th yeah, I think we're gonna end the. Uh, I think we're gonna end the uh, stream. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and obviously thank you so much, uh, Scorp and Lotso, for casting with me today. It was a pleasure. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our commentary as well. We were goofball, uh, uh, goofballing. We were as uh, Val would say, we were sh sh theating, uh, 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 uh quite a bit throughout the. Uh, the match but it was a very very entertaining match a very close one too i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh make sure to join the discord follow twitter subscribe to youtube follow twitch subscribe to twitch if you want but that's <laughs> it for me uh anything else from you guys just that i really really um, love no hmm? i'm really loving the ping pong well there was They're no ping pong yeah, I'm, gonna the the, I'm gonna watch the clip now <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right well thank you so much guys uh we'll maybe raid somewhat i'll let someone figure that out but thank you so much for watching uh see you later everyone have a good day yeah there'll be another war in uh a, a couple hours i think uh 9 p.m est is the next war and then there's one yeah, at 11 p.m est mm -hmm. see you later guys see ya